Enigma played a crucial role in tactics of Germans, right? Uh, is it true that British government already deciphered Enigma machine and sold these encrypted messages uh, from Germans uh, regarding the bombing of the United Kids, uh, of the United Kingdom, uh, but didn't act on it? Is it true? Was so it a necessary that... sacrifice? Yes, you think? I think you're probably thinking of Coventry. Are you? Um, there's this sort of popular myth that Churchill sacrificed yeah. Coventry, city of yeah. Coventry, so as not to reveal that Britain was reading the the Enigma encryptions. Uh, but that's actually not true. What they knew was a major raid was going to take place, but they didn't know which city. So they mm -hmm. were ticked off, but they didn't know it was going to be Coventry. Um, so I think they'd have. I've got an idea, actually, some Luftwaffe aircrew have been captured and then they'd interrogated them, plus the Enigma encryptions, which actually Parker decoded, warned them. So they knew something was going to happen, but they did not know specifically it was it was going to be Coventry. I mean, one of the problems Churchill always had was, of course, only a very small circle were privy to what Bletchley Park was doing because it was very important for the Germans not to discover the Enigma um, and then later Lorenz, which was the German high command encryption, had been had been penetrated because obviously the Germans would then take steps to 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 find a, a different way to communicate, you know, in code. Um, so it was always very important not to let let on that we knew what was happening. And on occasions, you know, Coventry uh, actually isn't a point in case, but on occasions Churchill struggled to use uh, Enigma effectively. So, for instance, in the run-up to Operation Barbarossa with Hitler's invasion of the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. Churchill repeatedly warned Stalin that Hitler was massing his troops to attack. Um, but obviously he couldn't tell him how he knew. So what he did was he told him that the information had come from spies. Well, Stalin uh, notoriously had a very dim view of spies. I mean, he just felt that they were the lowest of the low and traitors. Uh, and also, of course, felt Churchill was giving him this information because uh, Churchill wanted the Soviet Union to get involved in the war to alleviate the threat of Operation Sea Lion and the invasion of the United Kingdom. So Churchill had very good information right down to the date, uh, the German order of battle, you know, for Barbarossa. But of course, Stalin didn't believe him. So it, it, Enigma certainly had its uses. I mean, I think it was it was quite decisive. Um, but you could only use it in a certain way that didn't reveal you you knew. Um, and also, even when Churchill tried to, in the case of the Soviet Union, uh, warn them, they didn't believe the intelligence. Now, to be fair to Stalin, I mean, his senior general was Marshal Zhukov and Timoshenko were telling him exactly yeah. the same thing, but he didn't want to listen. Um, you know, so his failure to defend the Western Soviet Union in June forty one firmly rests with Stalin. I mean, he, he had warning, but he didn't act on it. We stay genuine, uncensored and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Because all.